Okay, welcome. Yeah, you can uh, yeah, you can come here, and uh, yeah, I want to welcome you in uh, this experience called Contatto. Maybe while I'm explaining a bit what is it about, uh, you can start uh, rubbing. Okay, we have one more. <laughs> Uh, the lime on your hands basically is a eating experience that involves our hands. So I remove cutlery and plates from the eating uh, experience. And um, if you rub it like on your palm, the fingers, also on the back and uh, on the wrist, because we are gonna use the totality of the hand for eating. So basically, the hand becomes the tool and uh, is substituting both cutlery and and plates. And uh, I will be guiding you in this experience and I will explain you how to move the hand, which position to, that you have to, to, to keep and uh, which kind of move, movements is needed to either mix the ingredients or to complete the touch. And uh, touch is the way I called uh, uh, the courses in this experience because I really wanted to take distance uh, from the plates because sometimes we call uh, the courses, we call them dishes, but I don't have any, any plates in this, uh, in this experience. So. Uh, I, I also find new, new words to, the, to describe the eating experience. So, yes, you can leave the lime and we can maybe start with the first touch and uh, I ask you to position the hand in this way. So we will use this part of, uh, of the hand. You can choose which hand left or right. And I will start putting a bit of olive oil so you can start feeling uh, the ingredient on your skin and this in this case it's a bit running on uh, on it and this is a pasta that i designed to fit exactly this uh, part of the hand so in the experience i studied uh, the hand and how it can guide the ingredients this is tomato sauce, so maybe you can start feeling the weight of it, of the ingredients on the hand and the warmth. <laughs> and so for this uh, touch, I ask like you should close, uh, yes, slowly the, those two fingers and you bring it to the mouth in this way. So with the tongue, you, you grasp it from here, like this, and it will close in the hand, in the, in the mouth. From here, Julie. From here, Julie. <laughs> no, like this. Yes, with the tongue, with the tongue, and you put it in the mouth. Eh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there are also new gestures involved in this way of uh, of eating. <laughs> And all, yeah, as well, uh, as you said before, it's also you can feel the temperature and I'm really also playing with the temperature of the ingredients. So now I would like you to expose the wrist. And uh, now you can feel the coldness of the ricotta. Also the wrist is uh, really sensible to temperature, is a really sensible part of our body. And now you have the contrast with the warmth of, uh, of the sauce. Yeah, and you can, uh, you can lick it from, uh, from the wrist. And uh, again, like talking about temperature, uh, yeah, you can hold this stone for us for a few seconds. Uh, it's a warm uh, stone, and the idea is that the the temperature will permeate in your skin. So, um, yes, like I will place an ingredient on it, so it will slowly melt uh, with the temperature that your skin uh, reached. Spices. And this is honey. And you can start eating it from here and then slowly move towards the end of the, the finger. So you will also 
experience the length of, of the hand until the fingertips. And also like you will mix the, the flavor together while you, you reach the, the end. Also the way the, the menu is started is to build layers of tasted one on top of the other one, also because you're not washing the hands in between, so you will have this mixture. Yeah, also like the etiquette uh, during the action of eating are actually changing because the, what you usually do when you are eating with cutleries and plates is actually different from what you are doing now and here it's allowed to lick. <laughs> and now that uh, basically you are still licking the fingertips, then you can dip them in uh, the coffee powder. you can position the hand vertical. So I will pour honey so it will slowly run on your skin. And yeah, not walnuts if they manage to stay. Ricotta again, so this time you can start from the top, uh, from the fingertips and slowly move to, <laughs> to the palm. <laughs> yes. Fingertips and... So also the aim of this eating experience is to kind of rediscover our own senses and tactility with food and also have, having another understanding and uh, yeah, having another relation with food that we usually don't have or at least we, we have lost. <laughs> and yeah, you are silent I hope because it, you're really enjoying this moment. Uh, and also like this kind of intimacy that's the moment uh, creates is uh, both between them and their own senses and also a, a bit between myself um, touching them while positioning the ingredients on their hands. So it's also really another way of experiencing this moment of serving, eating and, uh, yeah, and perceiving your own body and senses. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah, this is uh, an example of, it's really like a short version of uh, the experience I do usually. And I hope you really enjoyed it. And you can use again the lime and I will pass with the, with the water to clean. And uh, you can check the schedule of uh, the website uh, of the Academy because I will be performing the eating experience every day here in the arena in case someone else is interested, in, uh, interested to join uh, this experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and I didn't tell also like uh, the, the name of, no, no, but also the name of the project, Contatto is also, yeah, it's like means, uh, it's an Italian word and it means contact and physical contact and at the same time it's like with touch and, uh, and care. So this is uh, also. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah. Mm.
Thank you.